Hey what's up guys, Jerry Show here and I've had the iPhone 5S for um, just a, a week and one day now. Uh, not a whole lot has changed physically about the phone uh, between the iPhone and the iPhone or the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. The only thing that's really different is this uh, True Tone flash here and the new fingerprint detector. Uh, with the fingerprint detector it is super cool, super convenient. You just hold your thumb down and it unlocks your screen uh, compared to having to slide to unlock now I've had to reset the finger scanner like probably like two or three times and still I'll get a lot of times where it doesn't recognize my thumbprint and now it's gonna keep acting right see right there and when you do the fingerprint, it has you put your finger, you know, this way and that way. So it's supposed to be whatever way you're holding the phone uh, that it's still going to open. But I have had some uh, issues with that, so I don't know if it's a software or hardware uh, problem. Uh, next thing they have changed is now this has two processors in it. It has the A7 chip, which is a 64-bit uh, processor, and basically it's the first one uh, ever to be put on a phone. It also has a coprocessor which is uh, the motion. It's for motion. It helps apps run in the background and things like that. I haven't noticed really um, too much of a performance difference between the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. If you ask me, um, there's slim to none at all, but who knows, maybe some apps will take advantage of that 64-bit uh, uh, processor. Uh, for the camera, some things have changed on the camera. Uh, first off, uh, the you get bigger shots with your, um, they call it Pano now, or Pano, I don't know, but that's for your um, doing the panoramic pictures. Those have changed, I guess, just a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do any of that right now. Uh, they have a square, and then they have photo. They have burst mode, which allows you to take a um, bunch of photos and picks basically the best one you just hold it down and you can see I just took 22 pictures right there and it will just select the best one um, that it thinks is the best one uh, go back into the camera um, they have video they <clears throat> it's still 8 mega, megapixel HD uh, they made the F size bigger I think it's like a 2.2 .2 now so it's supposed to allow more light and uh, just overall take better photos. Uh, they have added with the iPhone 5S, you have the option for slow-mo. Uh, slow-mo is pretty cool. Um, just kind of allows you to look at life in a different way. I've actually done a few slow-mos and I'll kind of show you how that works. This is my buddy. He's got some uh, turtles in a hot tub. And he just dropped them in the hot tub. But you see here is the so where you can decide what you want to be slow-mo so the slow-mo part I want is at the end when the turtle gets dropped in which I think starts maybe like right here so if we were to play the the full thing And you hear the it slows down the sound and the video so um I'll show you guys one more So if I wanted to have the part where he's cutting, and he starts to slice it. Up. I want to stretch it to there, and I'll go ahead. There we go.
so that's about it with the camera um, overall browsing speeds notification center uh, iOS 7 looks completely different so uh, it's supposed to perform um, for the uh, new iPhone 5s but not a bad phone I don't know if I would uh, necessarily update knowing you know how it acts now it's a uh, slick phone but if you have the iPhone 5 you basically have the iPhone 5s and I think I covered just about everything that's that thanks for watching